guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is chindala thank you for watching my video if you are watching this currently please subscribe i'm going to wait for you guys to subscribe one two did you guys just subscribe to my channel better do uh, previously about one to two months back i had come for my microblading session to this place it's in Hotel Riverview and she did an amazing job so I came back here today for my follow-up session which has been pending for the longest time I was supposed to be here last month but because of some errands here and there I had to delay my visit and I just got the time to come today and I'm pretty excited that I'll be finally getting my final session done and also I have come for my hair transformation I feel like my long thick hair is making me feel really grouchy many people tell me I'm lucky to have thick hair but I don't feel so because it makes me feel so heavy makes me feel really grouchy and overall just doesn't make me feel good I'm going to chop my hair off and then have it colored just for a different look and I'm so sorry for my bland face because I have basically nothing on and is this the golden hour? is this what people call the golden hour? anyway so see you guys in a bit So I came for my second session like I said earlier and I'm just like discussing with this lady about how exactly should I you know proper enunciate my eyebrows and then we work on some details and she does a little bit up and down until I'm finally satisfied with the entire look and then we move on to slowly thinking about a hair color for me to transform my current hair color and i finally decide with the gray one but the thing is that it doesn't really come out gray because i didn't bleach it so that was tragic anywho we then start with chopping my hair off and then we're waiting with my eyebrow thingy uh, she has a numbing cream on so i need to wait a minimum of one to two hours so i thought why not just chop my hair off at the same time so we chop off my hair and then after a while, we slowly move on to coloring my hair and I think that's pretty much it. super hungry so I came to Kamal Daba to eat and not embarrassed if someone sees me eating alone because basically I'm too hungry to care right now excuse my parched lips guys what's up and this is my final look i hope you enjoyed this video so we went through with my hair makeover and my second session of my eyebrow microblading thingy and this is how the final results look i didn't have to touch it or draw it at all today i even cut my hair short and i feel so much lighter and I colored my hair grey but I think I didn't bleach it so the color is not really evident. It looks jet black, right? And actually it looks blonde, the weird thing is. I don't know if you can see it but here it looks pretty blonde. And I'm going to go out right now with my friends and it's pretty chilly outside so just decided to wear a jumper from H&M or Topshop. 
my leather jacket from Zara. I'm wearing this bag from carrying this bag from DKNY. This jeans from H&M and these boots from H&M. I feel like I'm advertising H&M a lot. So anyway, that's what I'm wearing today. I really like these dangles. I don't know if they suit me, but yeah. Golden in color. I think it pretty much goes with my jumper, right? So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. This is the final updated look of my short hair. I feel so much lighter. And my neck doesn't hurt anymore because I have such a thick hair. Voluminous hair. Voluminous. 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 Voluminous hair. Voluminous. 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 Volume based hair. Anyway, I have such a thick hair. And yeah, I finally feel so much lighter. And this is the final result of my eyebrow my first session got over my second session is finally done and this is the update after the second session didn't touch it at all i no longer have to draw it anymore so that's like the best part ever i'm gonna go for a night out with my friends just waiting for my ride because the lady here doesn't know how to drive again i know it's pretty embarrassing to eat alone right especially because I don't know if it's for you, but actually I feel like pretty embarrassed to eat alone because Thimpu is a small town, right? And then like I just feel awkward. What if I bump into my friends and they might think I'm such a loner? But actually I don't mind taking myself out on a solo date. I actually enjoy eating alone <laughs> and just taking myself out. And one reason why I really enjoyed my trip to Canada was, I mean, all the places and restaurants I visited, I basically knew no one. So it was like not awkward at all to eat alone. And yeah, so if you see me, if you've watched this vlog entirely, you see myself, uh, you see me taking myself to the salon to get my hair done, my eyebrows done, and then I am like pretty famished and hungry, so I go to Karma's Dawa to eat by myself and luckily I didn't bump into anyone. <laughs> Do you guys feel the same way as well? I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to get over this... I wouldn't call it social anxiety but this perception of going alone being a bad thing so yeah if you see me eating alone guys i'm not a loner okay i'm just taking myself out on a day just me solo time that is what i basically enjoy and which is lacking these days i feel i feel like i haven't had the chance to give myself time you know proper time and pay attention to myself so yeah i don't really mind taking myself out going out to eat so guys just fyi if you see me eating alone i'm not a loner <laughs> i just enjoy my own company yeah so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the vlog i'll see you in the next video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, ciao, ciao. I think I need to chop chop. So, bye guys. Sayonara. Bye. Guys. Bye. See you next time. Ta-da. Okay, I'm not weird. Bye.